In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best route combinations from the Trips Tight End in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. If you have not subscribed to the channel, it's completely free to do so. And basically what you get by subscribing is you get free Madden tips every single day. Uh, we share multiple videos. We try to break down what the best of the best are doing and why they're doing it. So if you have not subscribed, be sure to uh, click that subscribe button. If you are enjoying this trips tight end offensive scheme and you want to learn the exact scheme that I run out of the trips tight end, you can go ahead and pick that up down in the description. I have a full trips tight end offensive guide that literally walks you step by step through exactly how to run what I believe to be the best offense in Madden 21. And honestly, what, what will probably be and is shaping up to look like the best offense in Madden 22. The uh, New England Patriots playbook is just an amazing playbook. It's honestly, I really believe that it will be the best play book in Madden 22 barring some kind of fluky new formation or something like that being entered into the game from what I played in the beta trips tight end is so good because blitzing is not the way to go in Madden 22 and so the trips tight end gives you the spacing that you need to be successful and so in this video we're going to be talking with you about a very simple little coverage uh, or a little uh, concept that you can utilize out of the play curl flat I actually learned this route combination from my friend uh, spam and buttons I've got a ton of respect for him, and honestly, he's probably right now the best uh, Madden player right now in the community. He has won, I think, three, maybe even four consecutive Friday Night Footballs and is going for another belt tonight in that. So uh, just really, really excited to continue to learn from him. And so if you have not already followed his Twitch channel, I'll uh, put that in the description. But this route combination that he came up with, I think is really, really good. I'm not sure if he originally came up with it or whatever, you know how all these things go. But anyway, this uh, really, really good little match coverage beater out of the nickel 335 uh, wide um, out of the curl flat concept. And so basically what we're gonna do here is you see here, I'm gonna go into the curl flat play just like this. Now, most people, if they know what they're doing in trips tight end, they're gonna take this guy right here um, whenever they're defending trips tight end and they're gonna man him up on either circle or they're gonna man him up on square. One of those two players. Um, and so whoever they don't man him up on, that's pretty much who you're gonna throw the ball to. So I'm gonna man him up on square. And then what I'm gonna do on the backside here is I'm going to uh, take this defensive end, put him in a three rec, and then I'm just gonna use her in the middle of the field, uh, just like this right here. Now, the route combo is actually relatively simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna smart route the corner route, you're gonna streak the running back out of the backfield, and then we're gonna do a double curl concept on the backside. So two curls and a flat route. And this concept is really, really good, not just against match, it's good against pretty much everything. But what you're gonna see is that these curls, specifically against quarters, will do a really, really good job at basically sitting down in the quarters coverage and essentially be a nice little stop route that you can, you can go to consistently. Now, sometimes, occasionally, um, what's gonna happen is your defender might drop this into like a, a, a purple zone. So for example, it's not gonna play a traditional quarter flat, they're gonna play a curl flat. You know, maybe, they, maybe you've been hitting them with uh, table routes to the back or something like that. That's a situation where you might see something like this. And more than likely, you're gonna get this front whenever you're playing trips. But anyways, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna be using in the middle of the field. More than likely, I'm gonna go over here to the trip side because I kind of, if I'm running this defense, I think that you know the back side is completely bagged. And so what you're gonna see is we're gonna set up that simple route combination again. And now because there's no quarter flat defender, this running back route is gonna actually be wide open over the top. And um, it's really, really good because what's gonna happen is, again, people are gonna drop that, that defender into hard flats or curl flats to help defend not just the route to the running back, but also to help defend like slant routes and things like that. So let me give you another example of kind of how this is gonna work. So if I go to cover four show two and I run more of a kind of standard coverage that looks essentially something like this, um, and then I, you know, maybe even throw that three wreck into, or throw that bluff blitz out there, and then my user's just kind of sitting over here, the uh, next thing that you're gonna see is again, these curl routes are super, super good. So it, you literally, you're just going to low ball the curl, come back and aggressive it. It beats man, it beats zone. Curl routes, honestly guys, I think the curl route is the most underutilized route in Madden 21. I would encourage you, I think it's gonna be very good next year because of all the, the way people are gonna to have to play defense. And so, you know, you wanna get good at throwing these curl routes. So really, 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 really good concept uh, out, of this, out of this formation. 
Now the next thing that you're gonna be able to do uh, with this route combination is let's say that they don't man anybody up. Let's say that they uh, put this guy, in a, this defender over here on the left side into a deep half, and then maybe they're you know gonna sit and they're gonna use her onto the safety. This is honestly, if I was gonna run quarters, this is probably how I would run it out of this if I was if I was really trying to, to lock down the, the quick base. So then what you're going to get is you're going to get, again, another man-to-man -man coverage. But again, the question is, who's the man coverage on? Um, a lot of times people know that the circle receiver is one of the most difficult receivers to consistently stop in this formation. And so you'll see a lot of people that will man up onto the circle receiver. This is going to continue to be very consistent against it because you're going to see here, you've got this nice curl route to the uh, outside guy as well. Now, uh, this isn't just a match coverage beater. And honestly, it's... It's okay against match. It's really good if they do that adjustment that I was talking about where you put the, the running back or the, the running back side defensive lineman into a purple zone or the running back linebacker into a purple zone. But I also wanted to share this with you. So if you're facing kind of more of a, a general, um, you know, five or three, uh, 30, 10 and 10 Mabel coverage. So something like this out of the Mike Blitz three, um, this is also another good concept that you can go to to just consistently work the ball but down the field. The beauty of this is this running back streak, and I've talked about this a little bit on the channel before, this running back streak will really pull the vertical, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up this nice window where you can pop that, um, where you can pop that route to the tight end you know, fairly consistently. So you're gonna have a read to the tight end as well. And so what this starts to force your opponent to do is it starts to force your opponent to basically play cover two on the solo receiver or the, 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 the tight end side of the formation. And then they're gonna be able to basically play cover three uh, on the back side. So it's gonna look something like this. And now you start to get something that essentially is resemblant of this look right here. And the other problem that this is gonna create is this is gonna hold their user in the middle of the field because if their user jets over to go guard the circle receiver, what you're gonna see is this running back is gonna be open up right at the seam. So really, really good play design, I think, from Spamming. And honestly, um, you know, it's really simple to run. It doesn't require a lot of hot routes. It doesn't require really a whole lot of anything other than just lock in and execute. So I love this concept, I love this combination. It's a really simple play, but it's really, really effective. So if their user sits on the right side of the field, then what you're gonna get is, again, you see, here's the concept. Um, user sits on the back side of the field. So now I can either play, I have a high low, I can hit the flat or I can hit the curl. So uh, really, really good play design by Spam. And if you wanna get my trip to tight end offense, uh, exactly the, the concepts that I use, and, and I've learned a lot from Spam and I learned a lot from a lot of other players, uh, go ahead and grab that down in the description. I think trip side end is gonna be the best offense next year. I'm calling it right now. Either trip side end or U trips right now are looking like the front runners. Um, I love personally spread. Uh, I'm working on my spread scheme as well. Still, I think it's gonna be really good, but um, trip side end offense is so tough to stop. And um, this concept right here is a nice little constraint theory play that you can use to basically force your opponent to not get lazy in how he defends the running back. So thanks for watching this video. And um, if you wanna get the Trips Tight End Offensive Guide, you can get it in the description.